If you're anything like I've been most of my life, you have too much crap. It builds up out of nowhere. Your home can start to feel cluttered and claustrophobic and it gets stressful and it doesn't have to be that way. So here are some tiny habits that you could start doing today so that you can have a clutter-free home. Store your Tupperware with the lids on. This might seem like a small thing, but it helps keep your Tupperware organized so that they don't spread out all over the place and grow and lids go missing. It's this whole thing. It just really simplifies that part of your cabinet. Make your bed. Making your bed is another great way to start your morning. It puts in that mindset of cleanliness and order first thing. And then when you go to bed at night, having a nice clean environment that you can go into is a lot more relaxing and less stressful. And it can really help you get in the right mindset to go to bed. Do something with your dishes right away. It, this is great to get on the same page with everybody else in your house so that after every meal, everyone is responsible for their own dishes. You can put them in the dishwasher or clean them right after the meal so food doesn't harden on it or they don't end up having a pile of them in the sink. Dishes in the sink can get really stressful and the longer you leave them there, the harder it is. So try to just deal with that after every meal so it doesn't get overwhelming. Organize and deal with mail right away. Creating a simple process of what you do with your mail when it comes in can keep it from building up on your flat surfaces. Generally, this is a kitchen table or countertop just starts accumulating a pile of mail because you don't really want to go through it because generally just bills, let's be honest. But having a system where all that mail goes and dealing with it right away will keep that from cluttering up your kitchen. By the way, if you guys are getting some value out of this, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Take something off your kitchen table every time you walk by it. This is just like a great little habit that I've started doing. Stuff tends to just grow onto the kitchen table for some reason, I have no idea why, but each time I walk past, I try to just grab one thing and put it away. Ideally, nothing would end up there at all, but it, it, it tends to happen. So just getting in a habit of whenever you're walking to a different part of the house, look for something to take with you that you could put away. Use the two minute rule. I've talked about this a lot. It's pretty much the idea that if you see something that can be done in two minutes or less, just do it immediately. It's those little details that really just bug you that make all the difference. The flat surface rule. Look at your flat surfaces throughout your house. Generally, there's just stuff that has grown on top of them. Maybe it's sitting there for a week or two. Find a place for each one of those things. Flat surfaces have been like my bane for most of my life, like just, just stuff grows all over it. It's, it's super annoying. And I hate how it looks, but it just tends to always uh, have stuff on it. But each time you notice it, find a permanent home for each one of those things so you're a lot less likely to keep them on there. And then once you have them on there, just try to keep it clean for as long as possible and start building that habit. Have a laundry basket in your bathroom and in your bedroom so you don't leave clothes all over the place, which I, I might have done from time to time. I try to make sure that my clothes are in a couple places. They're either hanging up in my closet, in my dresser, or in the laundry basket and getting washed. When I used to only have one laundry basket in one place, either the bathroom or the bedroom always had clothes sitting on the floor or just sitting on top of a dresser. And that's just an easy way for things to build up. So have an extra place for them to go wherever that problem area is for you so that you can get ahead of it and not have clothes just strewn all over your house. Put a box by your front door and every time you see something that you think should be decluttered, just throw it in the box and then once a week or once a month, take the box and sell it or donate it or throw it away depending on what you put in there. Take a daily reset. I like to do this at night, but some people like to do it in the morning. Just take one minute and clean a bunch of the major stuff that you see going on. A lot of times just getting started is the hardest part and if you just take a minute to get it reset, it can make the rest of your day feel a lot more calm. The bathroom sink. The bathroom sink tends to just collect a bunch of random products. And while everybody has different needs, a lot of times we don't use most of the stuff or it could have a different home. So take a few minutes and figure out a home for all of that stuff that you have on the bathroom counter. Can it go in a cabinet or a basket? Do you even use half this stuff? And then try as much as possible to just keep it clean. This is generally the messiest looking thing in the bathroom. And if you can keep that clean, it makes the whole rest of the room feel clean. Have a landing strip. This is just the idea that when you walk inside the door, have a place for your shoes to go, have a place where your jacket goes, your keys go, your wallet goes, so that every time you come in the door, it doesn't get spread all over the house and become messy and it builds up. You lose your keys, you lose your wallet, at least 
At least that's what used to happen to me. So just have a place where everything goes. So as soon as you walk in the door, boom, 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 it's put away. Don't have to worry about it. Put the controllers away. Game controllers, TV remotes, these are easy things to leave around the house, but finding a home for these and just taking a minute to put them away can save you time searching for the remote later, plus it just keeps the room cleaner. Just pull the trash and recycling. I don't know if anybody else does this, but it can sometimes be a game if you live with other people to see how long you can go without taking the trash out and shoving more stuff down into there. Not a good idea. Generally, taking out the trash or the recycling takes under a minute. When you see that it's full, start building that habit of just being the person who takes it out and being okay with that because you have decided that your priority is to have a clean and clutter-free home. So don't wait until there's stuff growing out of the trash and the bag is ripping to take it out. Clean your fridge. And generally speaking, that's that's the back of the fridge where all the stuff is that you, you don't even know when it got made. You got leftover Christmas meals that are growing and have doubled in size. Condiments, sticky substances that I, I don't know where they come from. Taking a few minutes, even just once a week to go through your fridge and get rid of some stuff that's in there and then just wipe it down can really help this from getting overcrowded with a bunch of stuff that's just gonna go in the trash anyways. Or it can remind you to actually eat this stuff before it goes bad, which can save you time and money. Get everybody else on board. This one might be hard if you live with someone who doesn't really care about that, but I think it's important to have conversations about it. Talk about who's going to do what and why you were trying to do this, why it's important to you to have a place that is not stressful and is clean so that when people come over, you don't have to stress about it. And even so that you can just have more mental clarity and peace of mind about where you live. Do the micro clean. Not everybody likes to clean their whole house. If you're like me, you don't like to spend half a day cleaning your house. So just try micro cleans where you spend a few minutes cleaning one room in your house really deeply. And then another day you do another room. A couple days later, you do a different room. You get a great sense of accomplishment from this and half the time you end up doing a couple rooms instead of just one. But if you only commit to one room, at least you're making progress and it's not a big daunting task. Uninstall Amazon off your phone and then set a one week notice before you buy anything online. This can start to stop the floodgates of crap coming into your house. It's so, so easy now to buy things with one click on Amazon, just shows up the next day or whatever store online place it is your weakness. Try to set at least a 24 hour to a one week stop where you can't buy anything until that time has passed and you have decided if you really need that thing or it was just an impulse. Find your pain points. This is going to be different for everybody. Sometimes this is my office desk. Other times it's my kitchen table. Just take a minute and figure out what your pain point is, what bugs you the most, what tends to accumulate the most stuff, and then just create a little plan on how to do that and start implementing little actions on how you can deal with that one thing that really, really bugs you. One in, one out rule. Honestly, this is super simple. It's just the idea of when something comes into your house, something goes out. If you buy a new shirt, old shirt has to go. If you buy a new pair of shoes, old shoes go. It doesn't always have to be one of the exact same thing, but it's just a general rule to stop bringing in 10 items and getting rid of one or nothing. Because if you do that too many times, you end up with a bunch of crap all over your house and you're back where you started. If you enjoyed these tips and you got some value, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next week.